Thank you for joining us as we recognize each of our 2021 retirees. Though we would prefer to be together to celebrate your service to our students and community in person, we are happy to be able to recognize you virtually this year. Before we begin the ceremony, I'd like to invite School Board President Dr. Marty Schaefer to say a few words. We are very fortunate to have such an incredible group of educators here in Clover Park School District. We've always been very intentional about recruiting and retaining great teachers. Therefore, we are honored that you would teach in our district and even retire with us. It's always difficult to say goodbye, and it's especially hard with such a talented group as we have here today. Yet, I can honestly tell you that you deserve to not work. That being said, volunteering can be very fulfilling. The district appreciates all of the hard work you have put into supporting students and making Clover Park a great place to learn. On behalf of the school board, I wish all of you the best in retirement. It's okay to rest and to take some time for yourselves. And again, thank you. Before we begin acknowledging our amazing retirees, I want to take a moment to explain the process for this virtual reception. In previous years, during our in-person celebration, each retiree's supervisor would say a few words about them. We have tried to recreate that virtually. We will display the name and photo of each retiree on screen as their supervisor reads a brief bio about their time in the district. We hope you will watch the entire event and get a glimpse at the incredible educators who have dedicated their careers to creating promising futures for our students. Let's get started. Julie was the music teacher at Beechwood Elementary School and worked in the district for 35 years. Throughout her career, she focused on the whole child. She knows academics are important for students, but also knows that who students are as people and how they treat themselves and others is just as important. And she has worked hard to develop character, leadership, kindness, empathy, and respect in her students each day. Julie is notorious for losing things around the building, her keys, her stapler, even her lunch sometimes. It's not uncommon for people to hold her things for ransom and have a little fun with her about it. Julie Jones, it's probably good this is being done remotely, as I would be tearing up in person. Although I'm still a little bit ticked at you for breaking our deal, I wish you the best, and your presence will be greatly missed by everyone at Beechwood. In her retirement, Julie plans to travel and spend lots of time with family and friends. She's even considering subbing in the district from time to time. Bill was the district's capital projects director and worked in the district for six years. He helped lead a number of essential projects for our schools and programs, including the remodel of the district's early learning center, the classroom addition at Lakeview Hope Academy, the construction of Thomas Middle School, and the demolitions of Lake City Elementary School and Mann Middle School. He was always attentive to details and fiscally accountable, which are critical traits when working on large projects in the public sector. In his retirement, Bill and his wife will be moving from West Seattle to Corvallis, Oregon, where they plan on enjoying retirement. Maureen Arroyo was an Air Force JROTC instructor at Clover Park High School. She spent 27 years in the Air Force before coming to serve at Clover Park. She has helped lead the JROTC unit to several distinguished unit with merit awards sent cadets off to military academies, college, the military, and life prepared to be successful and independent adults. She holds the highest standards for her cadets, her colleagues, and especially herself. She developed many lasting relationships with students and has been invited to many wonderful moments such as weddings, graduations, and other celebrations. She has earned the respect and appreciation of the entire Clover Park High School community. In her retirement, Maureen is planning to enjoy family, fun time, and her three pampered rescue cats without watching the clock all of the time. Debbie was a librarian at Custer Elementary School and worked in the district for 27 years. She attended Custer as a child and has vivid memories of when the now big tree at the school was ceremoniously planted when she was in kindergarten. She has a great sense of humor and does not let things get to her. 
She really likes people and is open to different points of view and tries to make the library a friendly, happy place. In her retirement, Debbie plans to travel and spend time with her many grandchildren, but she's also the number one support person for her parents needing in-home help. Robin was a STEAM teacher at Custer Elementary School and worked in the district for five years. She always wanted to teach and loves helping kids find their passion. She started in the district as a first grade teacher and enthusiastically moved to STEAM when offered the chance. She's known for her loving care of the raised garden beds at Custer. In her retirement, Robin plans to camp and hike many national parks with her husband. She plans on more time with family, reading books, making music, playing in the garden, knitting, quilting, and fixing up her old house. She hopes to teach as a volunteer when the pandemic is over. Anita was an interventionist at Dower Elementary School and has worked in the district for 35 years. She's continually pushed herself to be better for students, and she's often the one asking, is this practice best for the student? She supports Dower in a variety of ways. In addition to her role as an interventionist, she is also our test coordinator, leader of committees, and much more. The list goes on. In her retirement, she's looking forward to spending time with her family, her dog, and friends. She loves to hike and travel, and she's excited to sit outside on her patio and look at her handiwork in her yard. Currently, she can only grow toadstools in her yard, but she's looking forward to turning her brown thumb to green. Veronica was a third grade teacher and worked in the district for 19 years. She's done an incredible job in all of her roles. She's been a paraeducator, a classroom teacher, and a specialist. In each position, she's been a leader in our district and a fantastic teacher for all of our students. She was willing to go above and beyond for the needs of her students, and she puts in countless hours to create engaging lessons for all types of learners. In her retirement, Veronica will be moving to San Diego and looks forward to time with her kids, dogs, and friends. Madeline was a librarian at Dower Elementary School and served in that role since 1996. She spent her career supporting the students at Dower and even did her student teaching at the school. She's done an exceptional job of increasing student passion for all things literacy. She has always had the best sense of humor and she brings laughter to everyone that is around her. She has a passion for introducing books to Dower students and tweaked her library service this year to include virtual checkouts. In her retirement, Madeline is looking forward to getting back into the world of jewelry design. She loves creating beautiful pieces for others to enjoy. She's also looking forward to spending quality time with her family, especially her husband. Paula was a special education teacher at Dower Elementary School and worked in the district for nearly 40 years. She's been a core piece of the foundation of Dower and the success of all of our students. She's partnered with countless teachers to support hundreds of students during her time at the school. She is the calmest teacher you will ever see, and she's been the calm in the storm for many of our students over the years. In her retirement, Paula is looking forward to spending time with her family. She's especially excited to begin working to train therapy dogs. Her vision is to take her therapy dogs to lift the spirits of those going through medical treatments at the hospital. Josh was a first grade teacher at Evergreen Elementary School and worked in the district for 20 years. He always has a kind and caring heart for his students and he pushes them to be independent regardless of their age. A San Francisco 49er fan at heart, he always enjoyed a good-natured rivalry with all the Seahawk fans among the staff at Evergreen. In his retirement, Josh plans on traveling to see his grandchildren. He is especially looking forward to meeting his newest grandchild, who will be born in September. Denise was a health clerk at Four Heroes Elementary School and worked in the district for 29 years. She has made amazing connections with Four Heroes families throughout her time at the school. This was especially evident throughout the pandemic. Families would call and specifically ask to speak with Mrs. Roswell simply because they missed her. 
She prioritizes building meaningful relationships with students and has a sixth sense for knowing when kids may need additional resources. She is constantly doling out replacement shoes and clothes or washing a backpack or jacket to help our families. In her retirement, Denise will enjoy gardening, traveling, and spending time with her family and fur babies. She will also enjoy taking her granddaughters to and from school. Marie was a paraeducator at Hillside Elementary School and worked for the district for over 30 years. She loved working with students and teaching them to become better readers. She was very proud of the safety patrol she led. It provided leadership opportunities for students at Hillside and they often contacted her after she left to thank her. She was even highlighted for her work with the safety patrol at the state level and received an award at a baseball game at Safeco Field. In her retirement, Marie plans to travel, spend time with her grandchildren, go house hunting, and do some gardening. Pam was a kindergarten teacher at Hillside Elementary School and worked for the district for nearly 40 years. She demonstrated a love for students and learning every day. She had the ability to connect with all students and showed great patience with the ones who struggled to adapt to school. In fact, she always asked to teach the students who struggled the most in preschool. She also had a wonderful ability to support families and be a mentor and friend to all staff members. In her retirement, Pam plans to travel, spend time with her grandchildren, and read more books. She's looking forward to enjoying lots of time with her family. Sandra was a paraeducator for Hillside Elementary School and worked in the district for nearly 30 years. She was always caring, loving, and understanding, tough, persistent, and fair. And she treated students with respect. Although she began her career at Hillside in 1992, she was a parent volunteer at her school while her children attended starting in 1983. During the last few years, she even worked with two of her daughters on the Hillside paraeducator team. In her retirement, Sandra plans to travel and visit her sister, work on some home improvements, and spend time with her husband and relax. Julie finished her career as an interventionist, but was also known by many of her former students as an outstanding primary grade level teacher. She had a strong passion for reading and worked hard to instill a love of books into the minds of her students. She was known as a go-getter who loved to teach. When she received word last spring that teachers would be back virtually, she jumped in 100% to integrate reading A to Z online and help train all of the intervention pairs. Julie had a number of familiar sayings that her friends and colleagues loved to hear, such as okie dokie and Julia. She has a passion for holistic treatments and was always willing to share her knowledge of these health products. In her retirement, Julie plans to spend time babysitting her grandchildren, quilting and traveling with her husband. Margie was a beloved kindergarten teacher at Lake Louise for 25 years after starting out in early education at Evergreen. She was great at engaging young hearts and minds and had a number of tricks to help her get her new kindergarten students pay attention and be engaged. She was also strong at differentiating instruction for her students and had a passion to support those who were struggling or having a tough time. With a true heart for her students, Margie was always there to greet her kids with a smile and a warm hello to start the day. She was well known throughout the Lake Louise community and will be missed next fall. In her retirement, Margie looks forward to spending more time with her grandchildren and family. Steve Anderson was a math teacher at Lakes. He was in the district for 37 years and he retired last year. He enjoys spending time with his family and especially his granddaughter. Steve is truly a Lakes Lancer as he is also an alumnus. I think most people would say, Steve is one of the kindest people you could ever meet. His patience and gentle spirit made his classroom a safe place for kids to learn. Steve's kind persistence and his welcoming nature made him a much beloved teacher. He was a supportive colleague and friend to all of us, and while we are happy for him, he is also very much missed. Jose Claudio has been in the Clover Park School District for 16 years. He's been in education for a total of 33 years. He's been a counselor at Lakes. Traveling, time with grandkids, and enjoying every day as a weekend day is what Jose plans to do in retirement. Jose is a people person. He came to Lakes five years ago and quickly became a much, much beloved by students and staff. His genuine spirit, positive attitude, and warm sense of humor makes him a joy to be around and with whom to work. 
Jose has been invested in all of his students from the start and takes the time to know them and their families well. His dedication is visible for all to see. Jose has been a light for many young people and he should be very proud of that. Now it's time to play. Enjoy those grandkids, Jose. Rich Curis has been in the Clover Park School District for 23 years, all of those years at Lakes. He's been in education for a total of 38. He's a science teacher and our science department head. In retirement, Rich is going to start by visiting the national parks with his wife, who is also retiring. He's looking forward to playing music for people with his wife, visiting family on the East Coast, and maybe getting a sailboat and aiming it towards the sunset. Rich truly loves teaching and engaging students in learning. He loves all things science and creates learning opportunities for his students to be hands-on. Learning is fun in his classroom, partly because he is having fun too. It will be different to walk to the end of the pathway hallway and not see him standing by his door next year. Rich really took to heart connecting with his students during COVID and still making learning fun. He also took to heart being a positive colleague and supporting and cheering on the Lakes staff to keep going. Rich helped to make Lakes a community of which people want to enjoy and be a part. We are so happy for him and too, he will be missed. Thanks, Rich. John Shelton has been in the Clover Park School District for 38 and three quarter years, 25 of those years at Lakes. He taught social studies. John is going to take a break from work for the first time since he was 14. He's looking forward to spending time on the island of Kona. He's also looking forward to more tennis, bike riding and kayaking and spending time with his stepdaughter. It's hard to imagine Lakes without John. He in fact is also a Lakes alum. I know there are many alum out there who have very fond and quirky memories of their time with John and the pearls of wisdom and snarky sense of humor he shared with them. John projects a tough exterior, but he has one of the biggest hearts for our students out there. He works tirelessly to help every student succeed. He is a great colleague who with his sense of humor and wit has helped us all keep our perspective in this very hard work. John has truly left a legacy and is much deserving of time to do whatever he pleases. Thank you, John. Barbara was an interventionist at Lakeview Hope Academy and has worked in the district for 22 years. Her absolute care and love for her students has made all the difference. She gives her teaching all that she has, 110%, and the kids know it and respect it. They know she cares and they want to make her proud, so they work hard to achieve, grow, and be successful. One of the best parts of her career has been living in Lakewood and seeing former students, all grown up now, who want to say hi and tell her how they're doing. In her retirement, Barbara would like a normal summer. She's planning to take three trips, one to Hawaii with her daughter, one to Las Vegas with friends, and one to northern Wisconsin to go fishing with her husband. Maria was a reading interventionist at Lakeview Hope Academy and worked in the district for 16 years. Her special qualities include patience and earning student respect by being respectful with them. She also imparts a healthy sense of urgency with her students so that they work hard to grow as much as they can each school year. Her memories of lunches with students are some of her most cherished memories. In her retirement, Maria plans to get back on her motorcycle. She has a road trip planned to Arizona and California, and she and her husband are also going to take a trip to Greece. Vicki was a paraeducator at Lakeview Hope Academy and worked in the district for 22 years. Her forte has always been decoding and phonemic awareness, and whenever a student struggled with those skills, teachers knew she would be the person who could help the most. She loved getting up and coming to work every day. One day, she even got in a car accident on the way to work, but as soon as that was dealt with, she got to work as quickly as she could and began working with her kids. In her retirement, Vicki is going to join a bowling team, and she looks forward to golfing in the summer. She would also like to take a trip to New Orleans and then travel up to Maine to eat some lobster. She loves lobster. Nancy was a paraeducator and worked in the district for nearly 20 years. She always enjoyed being around students and made connections with them. She worked hard to understand their needs by listening to and coaching students through daily challenges. Students always knew she would be there ready to listen and help them reflect on choices and how to improve their circumstances. In her retirement, Nancy is planning on working on the garden at her home and is planning to visit a newly discovered family member in Wyoming this summer.
What can I say about Stan Kilfoyle? Stan was a member of the maintenance department for 22 years. He worked as a carpenter in our shop, but he just wasn't a carpenter. He was a finished carpenter. So he was very detail-minded and took pride in his work. He was quick to offer a helping hand if needed. He was quick to smile. And he, he was a pleasure to work with. From myself and the crew, we wish you the best. Enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. Thanks, Stan. Karen was a counselor at Meriwether Elementary School and worked in the district for more than 30 years. She was a great listener, easy to talk to, and always brought a positive attitude to her work and the school. She worked especially well with our military families and students and had a delicate way of approaching hard subjects. In her retirement, Karen plans to travel, spend time with family, and play with her dogs. Emily was a kindergarten teacher at Meriwether Elementary School and worked in the district for 24 years. She's a passionate educator who goes the extra mile for her students and families. Her ability to create real relationships with her students, even through a screen, is a testament to her dedication. She's a strong leader and was able to exhibit the same compassion and organization through the computer that she did in her classroom. She helps students develop problem-solving skills, confidence, pride, and self-worth. In her retirement, she is planning to spend time with family. She also plans to go golfing, have fun with her book club, garden, go on road trips, and spend time with friends. It's my pleasure to celebrate Janet Coppice, who was a fourth and fifth grade highly capable teacher at Oakbrook Elementary School, and she worked in the district for 30 years. Her ability to challenge students and make learning fun made her a coveted teacher, and her love for literature and performing arts in the classroom inspired so many students to love learning. Many parents and former students still stay connected to her to this day and have reached out to share fond memories of their time with her. Though I only got to work with Janet for a short period of time, it was clear right away that she was a remarkable teacher, but also a deeply caring human being, and her positive impact on the lives that she touched is immeasurable. In her retirement, Janet is investing her time in her home, family, and exploring the world around her. Congratulations, Janet. Julman was a custodian and worked in district for five years. He always came to work with a smile on his face and went above and beyond for his coworkers every day. He took pride in the school and made sure everything was done to his full potential. He was kind, generous, and worked hard every single day. He was quiet, but his character spoke volumes about him and he always showed care and respect for everyone around him. Chulman retired last spring and sadly passed away in November. He is missed by all who worked with him. Julie was a buyer for the district and worked for Clover Park School District for four years. In addition to years of procurement professional experience, she brought insight and knowledge to the Clover Park School District purchasing team. She is very diplomatic and a great negotiator. She has the ability to draw out what our customers actually need when even they may not know what that is. On her first job walk, the maintenance crew decided to have a bit of fun with explaining that one of the vendors could potentially be Washington Mafia. Although she knew, or hoped, that they were joking, her facial expression was priceless. Her demeanor and attitude made technicians comfortable, and they welcomed her into their group. In her retirement, Julie plans to enjoy her newly remodeled home, garden, and spending time with good friends and her husband, Jim. Jill Kepri is retiring from Rainier Elementary after more than 30 years as a teacher serving students all over the Clover Park School District. Jill is a supportive colleague who works diligently to serve her students. A favorite memory for Jill was an experience she had with a previous student who came to visit. Jill no longer worked at the same school, so this student visited as many JBLM schools as necessary to find her. He showed up in his army uniform and told Jill his name. He had tracked her down to share an experience that shaped his life. Jill had written in his yearbook, Never underestimate yourself. You are smarter than most people. You can do and be whatever you want in life. Reach for your dreams. Those words had meant so much to him and inspired him to work hard for his goals. In her retirement, she wants to do the expected retirement things like travel, spend time with her grandson, 
and get back into a variety of hobbies that she has let go over the years. But more than anything, she looks forward to not planning the next phase of her life and rather being in the moment. Rose Lewis is retiring from Rainier Elementary School where she has worked as a paraeducator. Rose is a kind, thoughtful coworker who always puts a smile on her colleagues' faces. One of her favorite memories was working with a student who experienced challenges at home, which caused him to have some tough days at school. On one particular day, he asked Rose to read him the book, Are You My Mother?, which seemed to calm him down. After finishing this book, he said, thank you. He then looked at Mrs. Lewis with a sparkle in his eyes and said, will you be my mother? This memory stayed with Rose as these positive and supportive relationships with students were why she loved being an educator. Rose looks forward to relaxing, traveling to the East Coast to visit family, and hopefully learning to quilt in retirement. She is also looking forward to spending a ton of time with her two grandbabies. Roger Went is on his third retirement, and I am sure his family is hoping that this one sticks. Roger finds so much joy in communicating and building relationships with students, parents, and colleagues. He always looks forward to parent-teacher conference week as he loves to work with families and discuss the learning of their children. Roger likes to claim he is not technologically savvy and laughs that he is often allowed to bypass the electronic version of tasks for the paper-pencil one. Yet he has adapted to the role of virtual teacher with such skill. He has continued to build relationships with students and families, even over his least favorite tool. In his retirement, Roger plans to complete all the home renovation projects that he started many years ago and spend time with his family and grandchildren. He also plans to sub in the district to support the students and staff members he has loved working with over the years. Janice was a speech-language pathologist and worked in the district for more than 35 years. She's a kind and generous person and is always willing to help out other staff members with questions they may have. She's a lifelong learner, a great mentor to new speech pathologists, and is looked to as a leader in our field. With her years of experience in CPSD, she has a unique understanding of the district, a strong historical knowledge, and is often able to provide valuable insight into current and prior practices. She has such a great sense of humor and will be greatly missed by all of her colleagues. In her retirement, Janice plans on relaxing and enjoying additional time with her family. Carol Staub is retiring from her secretary clerk position in the teaching and learning department after 14 years with the school district. Carol will be much missed. She is a quiet constant in the office. Her work ethic is superior and her calming influence is a much needed asset in the office. Carol never shies away from learning new things. Even as she was looking at retiring, Carol leaned into the huge task of learning a whole new software system that completely changed the way teachers registered, signed in, and completed their clock hour documentation. Her efforts were pivotal in the software system's launch being successful. Throughout this launch, she never lost her composure and was consistently helpful to teachers and staff as they learned the new system. Carol is looking forward to completing home projects both inside and outside of her home when she is not watching her grandson a few days a week. She wants to be there as he is growing up so quickly. But what Carol is looking most forward to is not waking up to an alarm. Barb is an amazing head secretary and administrative partner at Dr. Claudia Thomas Middle School. Barb knows the business inside and out and has key insight on how to handle the regular and unusual operations of the front office. She has been with the district and at Woodbrook Middle School since 2007 and has been an important leader with merging Woodbrook and Mann Middle School into the new Thomas Middle School this school year. In her retirement, she plans on spending time with her wonderful grandchildren and take the time to travel. Thank you, Barb, for your service to the thousands of students and stakeholders these past 14 years. We will miss you. All of us at Thomas wish you the best in the next chapter and retirement steps in your life. Jill was a counselor at Tillicum Elementary School and worked in the district for 20 years. 
She's a very compassionate person, but has not let that get in the way of helping students and families move forward to a better state. Many people would be overwhelmed with compassion and want to just sit and wallow with the affected person. Jill acknowledges the issues and then helps the student or family move forward or connects them to someone else who can. In her retirement, Jill is looking forward to taking trips without worrying about school schedules. She's also excited to be able to hike and ski on weekdays when there are fewer people. Anton, or Tim as he was known in the transportation, was a bus driver and worked in the district for more than 12 years. He was easygoing and always pitched in when someone needed help. Though quiet and unassuming by nature, if there was a group of drivers laughing in or around the transportation office, he was always there laughing along with them. In his retirement, Tim is planning on hanging out with family and traveling to see family, especially those who live in Alaska. Ray was a bus driver for the district and worked in Clover Park for more than 16 years. Before joining the district, he spent many years in the Navy. He ran his bus like he would a ship at sea. He was the chief and his students behaved well for him most of the time. He was a caring colleague and was always watching out for his co-workers. In his retirement, Ray and his wife planned to do all kinds of things from the symphony to museums and other cultural events. And don't forget about going to those Seahawk games. Dave was a bus mechanic and he worked in the district for more than 30 years. Though his primary role was fixing buses, he wasn't afraid to do a little driving and would often fill in when needed. He was a driver trainer and was always willing to help new and future drivers as they were learning the job. He was steady and dependable. He knew drives, buses, and routes by memory. In his retirement, Dave is enjoying life at his lakefront property. James was a bus driver and worked in the district for nearly 18 years. He was amazing with McKinney-Vinto routes, and the morning transfers aren't the same without him. He was known around the transportation office for always having coffee and peppermints. He was happy and easygoing and worked hard to put a smile on everyone's face. In his retirement, James is enjoying time with his family and is spending as much time as possible at his lakefront property. Susan was a cook at Taiyi Park Elementary School and worked in the district for 23 years. She was dedicated to feeding each and every student that comes through the lunch line and making sure they got their first choice of food options. She is an excellent cook and always made sure our kids got only the best. She will certainly be missed by the students and staff at Taiyi Park. In her retirement, Susan plans to go back to visit Guam and do a lot of relaxing at home. Congratulations to all of our retirees. Each of you have contributed to the lives of children in ways that will stay with them forever. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. I wish you all a happy retirement and the opportunity to travel, relax, and enjoy your lives. Have a great evening.